Almost everybody has claimed their prize. There was actually one redraw that we're going to do today. Hello everyone and welcome to another Sunday Fun Day video. Today I have a couple of different things lined up for us. We'll be doing this Youth Flora BYO blush, which I just got in my winter boxy look. You can go click up there to go watch it if you wanna see what else I got in that box. I am also wearing the foundation that came in that box today, giving it a try. We are also going to be doing a couple of kid picks where I'm not gonna do the full unboxing. I'm basically just gonna to get to the fun part where the kids try on the outfits that came in their boxes for you guys. I know Azalea is gonna be doing it and I'm gonna to try to get one or two of the boys to demonstrate what came in their box too so you can see what comes in a boys kid pick box. I also am going to be doing a snack taste test with Jacob today. He's my most adventurous child when it comes to trying new foods and with him, I think he might actually enjoy several of the foods where if I just had most of the other kids, they would just try it and not like it automatically because they're so picky. And then finally, I'm gonna be testing out this product, which is like a little wax seal kit that came in an owl crate box a while back. I wanted to try it on the cards that I'm gonna be putting in the 25 boxes of Christmas giveaway packages before I mail them out. I did get the full list and almost everybody has claimed their prize. There was actually one redraw that we're going to do today, but that'll be later in the video. Let's go ahead and get into all of the activities that we are going to be do today. Let's start with the blush. Okay, we have moved on to the blush test. We're gonna see how the blush turns out with how the chemical reaction works. I thought it was so fascinating whenever I read it in the Winter Boxy Lux description. And it's this really cool green liquid. Looks just like that. Just supposed to put one to two drops on your cheek and then use a blush brush or a brush to put it on and then it's supposed to change colors based on the chemical reaction to your skin. Me and Azalee both decided we wanted to try it so this is me without any blush on at all. That's Azalee without any blush on. No makeup correction. Two dabs and two or three dabs. I'm seeing some change. I think I do see a little bit of a lighter pinkish blush. It's not overwhelming, but I do think I can see a difference. Can you guys see a difference? This lighting might not be the best. In fact, can you pull that up. Maybe we can get some natural light in here. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. We should have done that from the beginning. We totally forgot to lift the blinds in the window. Okay, so this is the, the blush is supposed to have been on by now. I don't know if it makes a difference if you put more oh, yeah, than two. Can you see a difference? Yeah, I can definitely see a difference. It's kind of hard for me to see a difference, but I know I didn't have anything on there before. And now it's just kind of a palish, pinkish, blushy color. So you'll have to let me know your thoughts. Zaylee's gonna give it her try and we'll see how it works for her. Let's lower it for you. Cause I'm short, I'm a short queen. It looks like it went like a darker red on yours. Oh. <laughs> so this is the side I just did. And then this is the side I didn't do. You can already see a transfer turning the darker color. I feel like it needs to be blended out more, but like, it looks like I'm cold. Definitely think it worked. You'll have to let us know what you think of the results. I have Azalee's Kid Pick here. She's actually currently styled in Kid Pick clothes. She likes this outfit. She begged to be able to keep both of them, even though it was like $60 just to keep the skirt and the sweater. Of course, the stuff is cheaper if you keep all of it. But we are gonna see what came in this kid pick. I'm not gonna do a full unboxing here. We're just gonna do a little sneak peek and then move to the try on part of the video because trying it on is just so much more fun, right? Okay. 
Okay, I'm seeing lots of blues and floral and pinks. Let's try this on. Here's Zaylee in her Kid Pink outfit. <laughs> this is the one that we bought previously, but it's super cute. It's a pair of skorts with the sweater. All right, she's gonna go try on her very first outfit that came in this box. I actually think the dress is cute. It's not Azalee's favorite. It has a cute skirt, I guess. What don't you but, like about it? So the first thing, this looks like Mario, like Princess Peach. That that reminds me of that. And I don't like how it has like a waist, like band. Because it's just like one. Maybe you could put a belt there. It's probably what you want to do. Maybe. Next outfit. Outfit number two. We got the shoes, skirt, the pink jacket, and the shirt. A couple things I dislike about this is the shoes. They come a little wonky and it's not coming back in shape. Maybe they're a little big. And then the top is not really my style. I originally wouldn't wear it, but like if I had to, I would wear it. The skirt, I honestly did think that I would like it, but I honestly really like it, except for like the rim. They should have put that on the inside. So like you see the full like silver part of it. The jacket is fine. The color, I don't really like pink personally, but. More of a yellow girl. Yeah. But I think it's cute. I actually think the, the skirt is cute too. Okay, so this is what I would pair it with instead of the shirt because Black with floral looks really good on anyone. Even if you don't like floral, it still looks really good on a lot of people. So this is what I would pair it with if I were able to wear it. So I would also pair it with these because I haven't got a chance to wear them that often. So I feel like this would be the kind of fit I would wear with these shoes and the top. Okay, well we might have to keep that skirt. I do have a $30 credit. Like, that's a super cute outfit, actually. Yeah. I like the way you styled it better. <laughs> outfit number three. We got the jeans and the plain blue tee. How do the jeans fit? Okay, so I was not really expecting this, but like, normally I'm like a ripped jeans type of person. Like, I really like ripped jeans, but no holes. Skinny jeans. They're so cute. If I had to choose between one thing that I would do, I would choose these jeans. Oh yeah, the skirt and the jeans. Love, love. Thanks for styling your kid pick. Bye bye. Jacob, you have to go. Okay, and you got a fashion hop material? No. Okay. <laughs> what do you like about that outfit? I mean, the shirt's really comfortable and the shoes stay on really tight, like really nicely. Do you like the jeans? Yeah. Okay, cool. Next outfit. Yeah, this is shirt number two. What do you like about this one? I mean, it's just, I guess, more what are we used to? I don't know. Okay, next shirt. This With, is the hoodie. Without the hood on. And yeah. then with the hood on. They always do send strange styled hoodies. I mean, that's like part bandana. Also, it's all mix matched. It's kind of weird, but yeah. kind of cool at the same time. Yeah. All right, his last style is these sweat tight pants with this blue top. All right, how do you feel about those? They're comfortable. I just realized how plain my outfit is. Well, it's okay. like no design. But well, that's fine, right? And I don't mind it, and that's the thing. He's got black jeans with a black top, and they also sent him the NASA hat. Come closer so they can see the NASA hat. You can see the space shuttle. Super cool, NASA's really popular right now. All right, his next shirt is the QR shirt. Do you like that one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go to the next one. And here's shirt number three. It's like a shirt with a city, or like some kind of architectural designs. I don't know, kind of abstract and interesting. You like this one or no? Decent. It's decent. Okay, cool. Let's get the last outfit on and then he'll be done. All right, so this is the last outfit he had. It's this camo hoodie slash sweatpants. I actually think it's so adorable. Does it fit you well? Uh, yeah, except the pants. They're still a little big? Yeah. But do they fit a little bit better than the jeans? Probably if I like choose them to manage. Oh, okay. Mm. 
Are you doing penguin turns? <laughs> um, why are you digging in the snacks? Oh, mainly because I wanted this. <laughs> this is our puppy Rapunzel. You Wait, guys, puppy. well, she ain't no puppy. we hardly ever get to have Rapunzel in our videos because her and Snow do not get along at all. So we have to have them completely separated oh, all the time. When Snow's out, Rapunzel has to be up. And when Rapunzel's out, Snow has to be up. So you won't ever see them in the same video together, at least at the same time. Let's go ahead and get started with today's snack test. Pick it at random or? Let's start with these. We got carrot cake mini chocolate bars, and they came in a fruit for thought mystery box. This is what it looks like. Oh, that's actually surprisingly easy to hear. Oh, mine's a little broke. Hmm. Rapunzel just wants the chocolate. Hmm. Got it. Um, I mean, it tastes like carrot cake. Does it? Yeah. I couldn't really. It's like a carrot cake plus chocolate, which makes sense. I definitely get the chocolate. I don't know if I'm getting all the spices that you would see in a carrot cake though. At least some level of carrot cake, you know? Next, let's try this caramel apple popcorn. And we've already experienced some popcorn not be the greatest in some boxes because it can get stale, but that's what it looks like. It is sealed, so at least there's that. I think this came out of a book box. I think it actually came out of maybe a Twisted Retreat box because it says spooky stories on it. It tastes kind of good, actually. Does it? Better than mm. the chocolate one because it's like not as stale, I guess. I just had a caramel popcorn and it tasted really good. This must be the apple. Oh yeah, it definitely tastes green apple. Mm. This one's way better. Well, I mean, to be fair, by the time I actually did try the chocolate one and the one with like the caramel and stuff it was already just out in the open with a plate like yes so. and it had been in the fridge for a little bit so. not too long but it had been in the fridge a little bit too okay. so i do like the flavors of uh the popcorn normally quite a bit this one's actually really good this one's my favorite so far do you want to try something odd or do you want to try something else that might be good let's do odd odd it is the melon jerky. What? I've never heard of a, <laughs> I've never heard of a fruit being turned into a jerky. I think jerky. it's the honeydew jerky. No added sweeteners, made from 100% whole fruit. This actually came in a fruit for thought box as well. I know there was a lot of y'all who were like unsure about this jerky, and I was unsure about this jerky, so we're about to find out right now if it's good. I mean, you probably shouldn't take oh. it for it. I'll eat a lot of things. That's not what I expected it to look like at all. I've seen chips that look like that. It's like all clumped together. Okay, here's a piece for you. Let's wait and take a bite together. Why am I not scared of this? Like, I don't know, all. because you're so adventurous with food. You eat everything. <laughs> Ready? One, two, Go. three. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, to me. I really don't get much flavor. Yeah, like that's the thing. Fruit, like it sounds maybe kind of good, like a plant-based alternative to meat maybe. But like the thing is, I feel like a lot of the flavor in fruit comes from like the juice. And so when you take the juice out to make jerky, yeah, it takes a lot of the flavor. I kind of actually like it. I would snack on this. I don't know. If I did snack on it, it'd probably be just for a little bit. I will say, I don't think it's horrible. Yeah, it's definitely not horrible by any means. But. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it also was kind of bland, and it didn't have like, look at you. You know, we got more snacks to try. <laughs> you can eat the bag of jerky later. He's trying to go for more jerky. Oh, he just eats everything. All right, let's try this porridge and seed honey bar. Oh. That was made in Scotland. Oh, I'm excited. There's your porridge seed and honey bar. Oh, it's like crumbling apart. I'm just gonna have to, you know what? I'll just take this piece. Mm. Oddly familiar. I feel like this tastes a little bit more like carrot cake than chocolate. Oh, you think this one tastes more like carrot cake? That's funny. Just a little bit. Brown sugar, pumpkin seeds, honey, golden syrup. This is probably healthier than McDonald's. 
Oh yeah, this is probably way healthier. Uh, this is pretty good. It's not my favorite treat that I've received from Scotland, the Heart Box or Heart Box Scotland, but it's still a really yummy treat. And we gotta move on to the next thing. So let's try the Toblerone bar, which came in my cozy book nook box. This will be my first Toblerone bar that I can remember ever having. I've never even heard of Toblerone. And I think it's just chocolate pieces. So there's some chocolate pieces for you, it chocolate like, pieces for me. It looks me. like those like cones you see at construction sites and stuff. Oh, they do, only they're chocolate, right? Yeah. Why do they have, le oh, I was like, why do they have letters on them? It's because it's spelling Toblerone. So you have T and O? Yeah. Yeah, oh. I got BL. I got bleh. I got, wait, no, two. You I got two? Code. I got bleh. 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 Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Swiss chocolate is good. There's a little bit of a crunch in there. I yeah. can't pinpoint what it is. The base. I wasn't expecting it. I don't oh. know if you can see that, you probably can't, but. Oh, maybe it's almond. That's oh. what it is. Because it says Swiss milk chocolate with honey can and almond. That's what it is. And it tastes like almond too. You can get the almond flavors. Milk chocolate. Me and Jacob both love chocolate covered almonds and anything with almond and chocolate. So there's so nougat delicious. in this. I didn't expect almond nougat would taste good. Got to save some for Azalea, because Azalea really oh. wanted to do this part, but this was gonna be a Jacob only event. Only because Azalea like naturally dislikes almost everything. So I wanted to have someone fun here that would be open to trying these new flavors. Okay, you want some of these oh, yeah. mysterious red things? I think they're jelly beans. They remind me of those cinnamon bears. <laughs> they do, don't they? Okay. Oh, it's hard candy. Uh-uh, mine's chewy. Oh. Oh! Is yours hard? No. Oh, okay. I've got, I got... It's thought, hard going in, but when when you bite, it's chewy. Yeah. It feels like a Jolly Rancher hard, but you know? But like when you bite into it, I like the cherry flavor, actually. It's a burst of flavor. I would say very flavorful. I wish that they would have labeled these. I did try a little bit of them, so I kind of knew what it was going to be whenever we tried them today, but I wanted more, so. <laughs> mm. There's four things left. This is the Tortuga Caribbean Rum Cake. Oh, rum cake. Mm -hmm. The rum will be cooked out. Okay, so here's the little it's like a fun rum cake. cake. It is, right? Or like a bunt cake or something. It's the design of it. I haven't had many funnel cakes, I don't think. Or whatever a bunt cake is. All right, get a pinch of cake. Just a pinch of cake. I'm yep, gonna... we'll just have a pinch of cake. Hopefully yeah. it's good. Are you ready? Yeah. Hmm. I get like... It's moist. What is that? I don't know, maybe it's the rum. <laughs> It's a moist cake. It's definitely been glazed in something. Oh yeah, that. The glaze has, it's like soaked into the cake because there's no actual glaze on top. There's some kind of like sugar syrup or glaze that's gelled with the cake. It's actually, it's pretty sweet. It's moist and it's good. I like it. I don't really taste any key lime at all though. It says that key lime juice is the distinct ingredient in this cake. You know but what? But I don't taste the key lime. I think I taste something like that. Maybe that's what you were tasting in the beginning. No, that was like a really prominent flavor. Oh, well then maybe that was the rum. <laughs> Next treat. This came in that tea box that Alchemy for the okay. a, a deer or not. It's the mountain in New York. I know that now but it had this shortbread cookie in here and it says, eat me on it. So I figured, you know what? We'll just eat it now. We're doing it a favor, right? Right, we're just we're just following instructions. It says, eat me. Just, just trying to listen to the shortbread. When you're trying to justify eating something you weren't <laughs> supposed to. Put a label on it that says, eat me. <laughs> It's like, it, it, it said to eat me. Yeah, you, you have to listen, right? right. Shortbread cookie. Let's go. I don't know what to taste. Uh, mm. Crunchy. It's a little bit dry compared to the rum cake. Yeah, but it's a cookie. Yeah. I think it's still good. Yeah, it's not the best treat that we've had so far, but it is really good to still get the sweet flavor of the shortbread. I think this might've been a chocolate drizzle on top or something, but it's really crunchy. 
Why is this cookie so familiar, like the taste? Probably oh. just because we had a shortbread cookie not that long ago in a Phoebe Fever box, oh. and you had one. Waffles, what are you doing back there? Sneakers, hello. Okay, I think we have two more things to try. Let's do the next one that came out of a heart box, and this was the Scottish tablet. I was a little confused as to what it was, and then it broke, because at first I thought it was like a bar of soap. And then I ended up not opening it right away and a eating bar it. of soap? Well, that's what it kind of looked like. All right, we've already got a piece broken off here. Let's try a bite of this Scottish tablet. Oh, I like that. Wow. I didn't know what this texture was gonna be like. Mm. Like melts in your mouth. It melts, but it's not moist, you know? It's so strange. I like it though. Yeah. You can taste like, is this like brown sugar? Maybe. Or just normal sugar. Sugar, salt and butter, whole milk, sweet and condensed milk, sugar syrup. So it's basically just a bar of sugar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eat this if you need to be hyped up. For a small amount of time. <laughs> and then need to go to bed. So this is something you'd eat at night because shortly after you'd have a sugar crush. Wow, that was a lot of sugar. Definitely can't eat this whole bar at once. And it's so odd that it's called a tablet. A <laughs> Scottish tablet. We think of tablet is so different. All right, let's move on to the last treat. It's, the, it's supposed to be a vanilla popcorn. And this came in the Teach Sparkle Pop box which is the day that we're gonna be redrawing for for a candy. new giveaway winner. Candy Company's version of a fruit salad. <laughs> I just imagine the advertising. I'm just gonna get one of each flavor. Wow, that's a bunch of oranges all gelled together. Oh, okay, that's something I didn't know. Wait, is it just four flavors? No, it's just vanilla. They just colored them different colors to make it fun. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. I can taste the vanilla. And it's good popcorn. This one's also better than the one that came out of the Phoebe Fever box. So I don't know what happened to that popcorn. Maybe because of the way it has to get shipped and it's refrigerated and then it has to set out. Like all of that could affect that popcorn from the Phoebe Fever box. But this one, it's good. Sealed properly in a package. I like it. What do you like? I like the vanilla flavor. For some reason I get a little bit of caramel, but maybe I'm just making that up. Maybe because it's kind of the same as caramel, the texture of a caramel. I see what you mean. But I definitely get the vanilla. <laughs> Snickers and waffles with us. Hello, Snickers. Hello. All right, thank you for doing that taste test with me, Jacob. Which was your favorite snack? Hmm. Maybe the rum cake? The rum cake? That one was really Maybe? good. I mean, like, it was really good. Like I liked a lot of them. I think the ones I liked the least was the jerky just because it didn't have much flavor. Which popcorn did you like better? The caramel apple or the vanilla? I gotta say vanilla. I like the caramel apple. We gotta move on to our next activity. And it's time to do the last activity of this Sunday fun day. I hope you enjoyed this episode so far. There's been a lot of fun different things in this one. But for the last one, I'm gonna be actually trying to do a wax seal on the giveaway cards. This is something that I got in an owl crate box and I honestly never thought I would ever use it until I started putting things in a specific box of things for me to try in videos like this. It has the darker pink, the light pink, and the wax seal here. I've never done a kit like this before so I'm going to try one first and then I'm going to try to seal all the rest of them. So hopefully it turns out good. Here's what the little fox seal looks like. Blank card here for my practice one. And then I'm only going to do six today because I've only written out the notes for the first six people who claim their prize. Now I did go through everybody who claimed their prize and write down the time that they contacted me, whether it was Instagram or email, and then I put them all in order. So the first person to contact me was Funky Cold Barbara, then Tina A, then Starshine, then Martinez, Susan Watson, and Mari Cho. And those are the six people who contacted me first, and this will be the first group of giveaways that'll get sent out this week. I'm excited to see how this turns out because I think it'll be fun. Like, I've been watching Outlander again, and every time I see them get a letter delivered, they're always wax sealed and then they just break it open. It, it looks so satisfying to break open a seal. So I was like, you know what? I think I wanna do that. And since they sent me one, I figured why not? So I'm gonna start with the darker pink one. 
I remember when I first saw this, I didn't even realize at first what it was, that it was supposed to be a wax seal thing, and I don't know how this works. So obviously that's burning down, and I think you're just supposed to tilt it. Totally new. Oh no, it burned out. Am I just supposed to keep it upright? Like the wick totally burned almost all the way out. Oh, it just went out again. This is disappointing. How is this supposed to burn? Okay, I'm getting some drip. I'm getting some drip. Come on, drip, 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 drip. This is so weird. It's a lot messier than I thought it was gonna be. You know, when they show it on TV, it just looks like nice, clean drops of wax. I'm so glad I'm testing this out on a card first. I don't know how much I'm supposed to do before I press down the seal. Like. <laughs> okay. It kind of worked. That was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be, just to be honest. Like, I really didn't think it'd be that hard. I'm so glad I had, I thought to try one. You can kind of see the design, kind of. Like seriously, just a little bit. Obviously it wasn't enough wax to actually do the whole seal, but you can still see part of the seal, so at least there's that. Let's try it again on the same one, but in a different area, if I can get more of a steady stream. Cause I don't want to ruin y'all's notes. Of course I could always rewrite the notes on a different card if, it does turn out awful. Now it's not wanting to catch fire, come on. This is so slow. Burned out again. Pour's really weird. Such a total disaster. <laughs> oh my. Okay, let's try to steal it again. It's like the wax dries so fast and if you don't get the seal on there, then the design doesn't go through. That's like two total disasters back to back. So I may not be able to do wax seals on here. I'm sorry guys, I'll still try to figure it out if for some reason I'm able to try it and it works. Like there's all these wispies. I'm gonna try the other color because the other color might actually, who knows, you know, you never know. I'm gonna do the satisfying break. Aw, it didn't even do a satisfying break. Oh, there it goes. That one did break. Why is there no sound? Ah, I'm gonna give it one more try. One more try. And if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna scrap this idea or you could give me some tips on what I might be doing wrong or maybe it's just this wax or maybe I'm not holding it right. I don't know, it just seemed like such a cool idea, but I definitely don't think I'll be able to get it in a perfect circle because that's just not happening. This wax has fallen all over the place. Maybe third time's a charm. <laughs> Let's just tilt it a little bit. Let's see, that's the thing. Like, I just, I wish it came with instructions. It just looks really neat, but I just don't think it's gonna work out the way that I had planned or envisioned for it to work out. So this is, this is such a bummer. This one at least is coming out in more of a steady stream in a pool of wax. Do it better than the darker colored one for sure. Um, I've got more of a circular type wax going on. It's actually looking like it might turn out better. So I don't know if there was just something going on with the, the darker colored wax or what. You think that's enough to get the full seal? I wanted to get the full symbol, like the full seal on the wax envelope. All right, let's try to seal it. I think that one turned out way better. So that's still another one that didn't turn out perfectly, but it did work out better. I'm gonna change gears here. I do not wanna go ahead and wax seal all of these. One, because I've tried it three times now and it still hasn't even come out like perfect or 
uh, somewhat close to what I was wanting. So I'm just gonna leave it as, if you want me to attempt to do a wax seal on your giveaway card for the fun of it, let me know in the comments. If it ends up coming out as bad as like the first two, I'll just scrap that card, rewrite the card, and it'll just be in a sealed envelope. I think it'll be fun. I obviously don't know if I have enough wax to do all 25. I might have to look into finding more, but I don't know. It just, <laughs> this plan did not, it was not executed the way I thought it was gonna go. So the last thing that we we're gonna do before wrapping up this video is actually redraw the winner for day 18, the Teach Sparkle Pop. After the last Sunday Funday video, 20 of you guys contacted me to claim your prize and there were five left unclaimed. I did personally contact each five of them and tell them that they had until Friday to contact me to claim their prize. And today is Saturday that I'm filming this and still no one has claimed it. So because of that, we are gonna redraw. Let me pull up the recording here. I've got everything in here. The code word was grade and only 37 people entered this giveaway. It had the least amount of people enter this giveaway. So I don't know if that was because of the giveaway prize I chose or just not as many people watched it because it was Teach Sparkle Pop. And the winner is Angela Lockridge. She said, I think I would want to teach fifth or sixth grade. I remember loving my teachers that year. So congratulations, Angela, on winning this prize. You have just a few days to contact me and claim your prize. And if not, we'll be redrawing again next Sunday. So stay tuned. As far as shipping out giveaway winners in the order, I am gonna do all of them in the order you contacted me with the exception of probably the international winners. I had three international winners. One of them, Karen, has already let me know that I should probably just ship it by boat instead of by USPS to save me money. And I might look into alternative shipping options for the two other people who won that were international. That way I have the most cost effective way to ship to you guys. Your three packages will probably be shipped last but everybody else's will be shipped in the order that I had received them. But yeah, that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining along with me on this Sunday Funday video. I can't wait to do our next one. Like these videos have become so fun for me and I hope that you guys are enjoying them as much as me. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Bye everyone.